right, uh, uh, the current issues and the past issues and future issues. Uh, what about Pan American Games are coming here in Canada, in Toronto? And is there any uh, sports complex uh, being built for that or uh, any stadium for that? No, the uh, city of Brampton uh, was very excited to know Pan Am was coming to the greater Toronto area. Yeah. City of Brampton bid on hosting a number of sports mm -hmm. and we were awarded uh, wrestling at the Powerade Centre. We were awarded uh, some soccer, some field hockey, some field sports and we were awarded cricket. Mm -hmm. as a demonstration sport. We were very pleased, uh, it, but recently the Pan Am uh, organizers have changed their approach mm -hmm. to delivering the games in 2015, wanting to have them more centralized in Toronto. So we lost wrestling. Yep. They cancelled cricket out of the Pan Am completely. There mm -hmm. will be no cricket in the Pan Am games. But there will be a cricket stadium? Yes, because what Brampton and Council needed to do was to say there'll be no cricket in Pan Am, mm -hmm. but the Pan Am had committed 50% of the cost of building the stadium. Mm -hmm. So when Pan Am canceled cricket, yep. we lost 50% of the funding. Oh. So we came to council and said cricket matters, yep. cricket is important, mm -hmm. why don't we put in 100% of the municipal funding mm -hmm. and build the cricket stadium anyway. That was the decision of council, so yes, the uh, city of Brampton will be home to the first cricket stadium in the GTA. We want to be Canada's uh, cricket, the, the capital for cricket yeah. in Canada. And what about Kabaddi Stadium? So because, uh, there is a Kabaddi Stadium designed to go adjacent to the cricket stadium in northeast Brampton. Mm -hmm. There's also a Kabaddi Stadium coming sooner. Yep. Uh, Council just approved the budget uh, in the south part of Brampton. Again, stadium outdoor field where we like to play good grass infield mm -hmm. and a couple of thousand seats around. Mm -hmm. Being a successful uh, mayor of Brampton, have you any opportunity to uh, speak as a guest speaker somewhere? And I've had uh, several opportunities uh, more recently and uh, one of the most uh, uh, notable one was being invited to Harvard University as part of a program to, to look at what they call Government 2.0, how to communicate yes. with the public, with residents. Mm -hmm. There were representatives of over 20 countries. Yep. I was the only representative for Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and now that uh, report is published from Harvard University. We were invited by Microsoft Canada to speak at their employees convention. Any chance uh, that we're invited to come and speak, uh, we are proud to be able to do that because it brings the Brampton message. And at the last, what message for Bramptonians? Well, I would say to Bramptonians uh, that are able to see this segment, I hope you've learned a little bit more about your city today, and I value our interaction, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, email, telephone, or face-to-face -face at so many events. I ask you to participate, stay involved, and help make Brampton continue to grow as we are as a rich, and diverse community, a caring community. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for being with us on our show. Well, thank you very much for joining me at Brampton City Hall and hearing about Brampton and allowing this opportunity.